Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Let's Cook with Elle. As you can see on this video, I'm sharing this meal's recipe. So you have the homemade chips, prawns and avocado sauce. It is so yummy, so easy to prepare and great for lunch or dinner. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. I've got two potatoes here, lemon, red onion, avocado itself, vegetable oil, raw prawns, salt, pepper and paprika. So guys, just like I said, I'm going to season my, um, my prawns with some pepper. Add whatever tickles you fancy. I'm going to add in some salt. Okay, so I'm adding about half a teaspoon of hot paprika and just mix it all together. Mix it all together, mix it all together. My king prawns seasoned and I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to make the avocado paste. So I'm just chopping a bit of onion, not too much. This is all I'm using, not too much. And always, as I said, do it the way it suits you best. So this is exactly how I'm having it. Just put that aside and just get the avocado. Just open it up like this. Get rid of that. Get the bowl and the spoon and just take it out the do you call it shell? What do you call it? Just take it out and just mash it. And here you go guys, the paste is smooth enough. Obviously, if you do have a small blender, then I recommend putting in the blender, but my blender is quite big. If I blend it, it's just it's not gonna work really. So I I just mashed it up, cut a bit of lemon and just squeeze it in there. Mix it all together. Then add in the the onion and mix it together. Just like so. Guys, let me tell you something. Lemon and fish, like they're literally best friends. So yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, also add a bit of olive oil. Just a little bit because it literally, it just makes everything together. And here you have it guys. Okay, so I'm going to start off with peeling off the potatoes. Just peeling it off, removing the skin. The potato is now peeled and then I I just quickly washed it. So what I'm going to do is cut it. Uh, this is how I cut it guys. So I should cut it in half and cut it in half again. Then start slicing it like this. I just try to make it that, do you know that size from the fish and chip shop? If you're from London, you should know what I mean. You can just go through it and just make it a bit smaller if you want. I just like my one to be like different sizes. It doesn't have to be perfect. And here we go, guys. This is all chopped. As I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can cut it however you like. Small, medium, large, or different sizes like I did. Right now, I'm just going to... I'm just putting it inside a water. And I'm just going to rinse it again. I have some salt inside and water just to cover it so add the amount of salt that you like the reason why i like to do this is because i want the salt to just hug the chips i love it like that and um, i like to boil it before uh, frying it because it's just extra crispier and i just adore it so basically boil it until it starts to get soft but not too soft because when it gets too soft it's just going to be a waste of time and it's just going to break apart when you fry it so the potato has been boiling for 15 minutes. I had it on high heat. So I'm going to get rid of this water, then deep fry it. Add as much oil to deep fry the chips. So because the potato is soft already, I'm going to leave the oil to get proper hot. 
because one thing I don't want is for them to just break apart. So I just basically add everything, all the chips in there. One thing I would say, yeah, when it comes to this, please do not even touch it. Don't even try to stir it because it's very soft at the moment. It hasn't gone crunchy yet. So once you start to move it around, it'll just break apart. So I just wait for a moment. So yeah, I just leave it to fry on high heat. And you see now, it's crunchy. So this is good. Okay, so I was wondering how I'm going to do this, yeah. So, because I only have one stove and I want everything to cook at the same time. So I'm just going to transfer this in a different hob and get this pan so I can start making the prawns. So I'm just going to add a bit of oil. Okay, once the oil is hot enough, I'm just going to start frying them. Now leave them to fry, then keep stirring, stirring, stirring. You want to make sure it's cooked. You can reduce the heat to medium so that it doesn't burn. So basically what I'm doing here is frying them on each side. And then when they're fried, then just keep stirring it. And here you go guys, the fries, I love it, it's so nice and crunchy. I boiled it for 15 minutes and fried it for 10 minutes. And of course not to forget the sauce. Oh my gosh guys, so I'm halfway through eating this. This is just, it's so tasty. Ooh. It's absolutely delicious. Oh, this avocado paste and prawns is just like a match made in heaven. Trust me, guys. Oh, you have to try this. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you guys on the next video. Bye.